that uh, the weather is no problem. About uh, two and a half hours ago, they finished fueling this rocket. This is known as the SL-1, Skylab-1. And if you're into facts and figures, they put 917,000 gallons of kerosene, liquid oxygen, and liquid hydrogen in all three stages of the vehicle, which stands 33 stories high. And that portion you're looking at, there is the lab. And the second stage, first stage, you can see there the uh, liquid oxygen venting off of the first stage. They uh, keep pumping fuel into it until right at the last minute. Over in the control center, uh, the men are ready for the launch, as John said a minute ago. Um, they've been conducting a double countdown. They are now into an automatic sequence, which means that uh, Bank of Computers is handling all of the last minute details, getting up ready to uh, launch. Again, the three astronauts go into orbit tomorrow. Everything has to go well with this launch today. Several things have to happen for it to be uh, put into the proper kind of shape for them to join it. But again, there have been no problems. And we are going to join now, I think, Chuck Hollingshead, who is the voice of Skylab, for the countdown to the launch. At liftoff. Liftoff uh, will follow an ignition at 8.9 seconds. We just passed the 90 second mark in the countdown. At 8.9 seconds in the count, we'll expect to get an engine sequence start on the five first stage engines of the Saturn V. They'll build up thrust. That thrust will be monitored. The vehicle will be held down for the full 8.9 seconds, and we'll expect to get lift off right at T0. We're approaching the one minute mark in our countdown at this time as it proceeds smoothly. Mark, T minus one minute and continuing to count. A water deluge system now has been turned on, activated at the pad area. Pressurization taking place now, the various tanks aboard the vehicle being pressurized. Switching to internal power. All stages switching now to internal power. All propellant tanks being pressurized. Count continuing smoothly. The water at the pad covering the uh, flame deflectors. Now we've passed the 30-second mark. Water also will be coming on to the decks of the mobile launcher at the ignition point. T-minus 20 seconds, and the countdown continues to go smoothly. Guidance release, T-minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have ignition sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, Lifting off the pad now, moving up. Skylab has cleared the tower. Houston is now controlling. Mark 18 seconds, pitch and roll program. It's are now maneuvering to the proper flight path attitude. Mark 25 seconds. Mark 30 seconds. 35 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude, uh, looking good. Range safety, uh, give Saturn a green, uh, we've cleared the beach. Mark uh, 50 seconds, two and a half nautical miles in altitude. The ground display data shows good stable thrust on all five engines. Coming up now in one minute. Mark one minute. One minute, five seconds, four nautical miles in altitude coming up now and create a maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. One minute, ten seconds. Roll program complete. The pitch profile still in progress. Mark, one minute, twenty seconds, seven nautical miles in altitude. The velocity now reading 2,500 feet per second. Mark, one minute, thirty seconds, pass through max Q, still looking good. Saturn now at 11 nautical miles in altitude, 5 nautical miles downrange, velocity now reading 3,300 feet per second. One minute, 45 seconds, all sources continuing to look good. One minute, 56 seconds, 
20 nautical miles in altitude. Two minutes, 10 seconds. Two minutes, 18 seconds. Coming up now uh, on center engine shutdown.